Well, I think it was the, you know, there was a two and a half year journey to get to the two weeks of the Olympics. And while the two weeks of the Olympics were some of the most wonderful moments of my life, because we got to share them with all of our family members and all the guys who worked on the golf course. So it was, that was phenomenal, that whole experience. And I'd never been to the Olympics before. And it was just amazing. You know, normally when we're involved in a golf course that where they're playing an event, that's the biggest show in town. And so everything's focused on that. Well, the Olympics, it was one of 28 venues, and you could argue that it was one of the least <laughs> uh, recognized amongst the you know, the golfing pub or the, the sporting public. So I think it was one of those experiences where we were just so excited to be part of that Olympic experience. Uh, it was difficult. I mean, it was, it was a hard build. It was mainly because we were not given the tools that we needed to build a golf course um, the way that we wanted to do it. And it took a lot longer to, to get those tools. Eventually we got them. And if it weren't for, you know, Neil Cameron, Kyle Franz, Ben Hillard, the three guys who live down there who work with us, and then Neil Cleverly, the golf course superintendent, there's no way it ever gets finished. And we had a lot of support from the PGA Tour and, and their support staff, the technical staff. So it was a big team pulling together to try and get this thing done. And, and you know, like I said, those frustrations, I think, were pretty close to have been overcome with the results of the of the tournament itself. We had two great champions. We had great medalists, six medalists from six different countries. The women's uh, women, winning score was 16 under. The men's was 16 under. There were three women at double digits under par, three men double digits under par. So it was almost... <clears throat> hard to believe that it actually turned out that way in, in the end. Uh, but I think part of the success story of it is that it's still operational. It's still uh, being used. It's the only Olympic venue that's still in operation from the Rio games, which is sad. But it's a testament to the people who are down there now working hard to make golf acceptable. It's the only public golf course in Brazil. Three times a week, they do free clinics for kids to come out there. We built a little four-hole short course. So there are a lot of positives that have come out of it.